Today, I'm playing my first tournament back in eight weeks, so let's see how it went. So I start every single day off with protein oats, obviously after I've woken up. I use a plant-based protein because it's easy to digest. I put the kettle on and cut up a banana to put in there. And of course, I also make a coffee to get some caffeine in the morning. I eat all of that and then I'm ready to pack my bag. Right, so we can do a quick bag check. Here we've got some old clothes. We're skipping rope and in here we've got like some bands, caps, towel, Wimbledon towel because it's Wimbledon. We got my medical kit, medical supplies, three rackets, freshly strung, uh, my shoes, and I've also got some more shoes down there, and all of like my supplements. So we've got Halo during the match um, to hydrate me, and then a few like more kind of gels and stuff that I use for, for carbs that are fast releasing. And yeah, that's pretty much the bag, and I think we're good to go. Have arrived about 45 minutes early, so I'm gonna do a full physical warm up and hit with my friend Raf. Uh, before my match. So today I was warming up for around 20 to 30 minutes so I knew I had to keep it pretty short so we started off by just hitting up and down the middle trying to find good length and get good some good rhythm on these hard courts. It's always good to feel the courts, the balls, how the ball's reacting then move to some volleys making sure that I'm taking you know a short take back kind of feeling the ball on the strings. This isn't really about playing well it's just about getting a good rhythm and some good timing. Then I warmed up some smashes Again, just looking to not go 100%, just to put the ball with good power and good depth through the court. And finally, we moved on to some serve and return. I'd basically periodically serve and return a few. And then sometimes towards the end, we'd start kind of playing out the points the closer we get to the end of the session, like you can see here. Now, as soon as that was done, I had about 10 minutes to prepare for the match. So let's see how it went. So starting off, of course, I was a little bit nervous. I haven't really played a match. So, you know, that feeling of competing was a little bit new. I knew that I had to kind of step my game up because I was playing a very high quality opponent. And so my biggest strengths in this match were my forehand and my serve. Those are the two things that I know that I can rely on and that I can put pressure on my opponent with. So I thought, you know, from the very beginning, that's what I'm going to try and exploit. He had a very, very good serve. He's a lefty swinger, so it would kind of slide. And at the beginning of the match, in the first few games, I found it really difficult to actually return his serve. He's quite a tall guy, as you can see, and he loved to come into the net, and it was super effective a lot of the time. And he'd put away a lot of easy points like that. And that's also going to be good at conserving the body, because we were playing a full third set if it went, that, if it went the distance. So maybe a smart strategy on his end. Now, to be honest here, I'm just trying to think about how I can break my opponent down, what I can do to try and win the points. And the first thing that jumps out is just trying to put some pressure on him when he's serving and volleying, trying to maybe go up the line or go above him and hit a lob or around him. Those are the biggest strategies. And I think kind of from early on, I knew that I would get some opportunities to break just from the fact of I'm going to eventually hit one or two good passing shots. So I knew that if I could hold my service games, I might be in a good position. Now, of course, there were also mistakes every now and again. I'm a bit rusty. I haven't properly been, you know, training for weeks on end in preparation for a match. And I kind of just jumped straight in in preparation for this Sunday where I'm playing a Futures, well, my first Futures 25K back on the grass in Roehampton. So I knew that this was going to be some good match experience for my first match back. Now... <laughs>
So here's probably the first time I felt a little bit of pressure on my serve at 15.30. I managed to put a fast second serve down the tee to equalize it out at 30 all. But I did, the nerves did get to me a little bit more than they usually would because it was my first match back. But I felt that I dealt with them pretty well, especially, you know, using the forehand. But my opponent comes up with an amazing forehand down the line winner. This puts me at break point down for the first time. Managed to get up to juice and just go for the drop shot. And I did eventually get up, get broken in that game. Now my opponent's 5 4 serving for the set. But I've got a break point. And I lob him. My opponent then broke me again. And it was 6 5. But I knew if you can break once, you can break twice. And I went 40 love up on his service game to get the break to take us to a tie break. And so we're into a tie break. We're going to jump into the action at 6 all, 1 all. Now I managed to get up an early mini break in this tie break. I was cutting my errors to a minimum and he was giving me a few cheap points. So I knew if I can kind of force him and put him under a little bit of pressure, he might crack in the tight moments. He comes up with a good point there. The change ends at 4-2. I win the next two points. And here I have four set points on serve. And there you go, four set points come and go. But now I'm serving at 7-6 to take the first set. And there you go, took the first set 7-6. But early on in the second, Joel came out fighting. He took an early break, which put me under a lot of pressure. And this is where I began to feel a little bit of fatigue begin to set in. You know, I haven't played a proper, you know, hour, hour and a half set in a while. So I knew this is where I had to maintain concentration at the beginning of the second. And he saves another break point with a brilliant serve. And unfortunately, the camera cut out for the end of that second set. But I can, in fact, say that I lost it 6-2. And after that big momentum swing, and I knew that I had to get an early break in this third set if I wanted to run away with it and change the momentum. Otherwise, Joel would run away with the match. And a break is just what I got. The perfect start to the third set. And I knew now it's all about concentration. Can I keep it concentrated on my service games? And can I maybe even possibly take out another break of surf to give myself some extra cushion?
Joel saves one break point chance. We're going to jump to the action at 5-4. Me serving for the match. And from here, I'm just going to let you guys watch. I actually thought I was going to lose it once he got that neck cord. I was like, today's not my day. It's over. What a match. Um, it, so many points I doubted myself whether I could, could actually win. Had a bit of pain in my arm towards the beginning, kind of eased out throughout the match. I think that was kind of a lot of mental strength in that one. I'm so happy to be back. I'm so happy to be playing another match. And yeah, it feels great to be back. I'm super excited kind of for the tournaments to come. You know, I'm really looking forward to, to sharing the journey as I'm going with you guys, beating good players. I mean, he was a darn good player, but I managed to just clinch it on the day, you know? That's how it goes sometimes in tennis. So unfortunately, in the second match, I had to retire to save my body for Roehampton because it was a long match with Joel. And so next Sunday, the vlog of my first 25K qualifying match is going to come out. So make sure that you subscribe, turn the notifications on to be notified when that video comes out. And I'll see you guys in the next one.